All right, so we're going to work on, and so in that case, too, I better point this at my right hand, huh? Because what I want to do is... Can, I'm getting can they get clear. your right hand, left hand, 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 hand. Yeah, do me a favor and pull that shade. I think we'll get better. We're getting a glare here. Much better. All right, so what we want to do is we've been doing this drum thing using some of our wrist and some of our foreham, you know, which is great beginning strumming. We've got the down up thing. we got a pretty good feel for that. So now what I want to do is work on these little wrist strums. And it's just gonna, we're gonna put a D chord on over here. And it's all gonna be stuff with the D, and then the D sus in the case of free fallen. And back to the D, and then to the D add nine. So now you can see both my hands, that's a pretty good angle. So I'm gonna go. So that's that riff. Notice my right hand never stops. These are all on downs. When we when we switch our fingers, it all happens to happen on a down. So if that helps you, uh, I don't want to you just sit there and have to if we don't have to count every one, two, three, four, you know. But I will tell you this: one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four. I'll like that. One, two. the sink on the right hand is not quite perfect, huh? One, two, three, four, two, three, four. And then you can just practice, instead of trying to get that perfect, you know, in, in sync, you could just strum like this and kind of put the sus down. really working for is this wristy thing. You can notice that my forearm is moving a little bit, right? It's following my wrist, but most of it, if you look over here, you can see it's, it's a lot of wrist, isn't it? It so is. It's a lot of this stuff going on. And that's what makes the soft strum. If I put my forearm into it, I start going bluegrass on it. That, that's, like, that's like resisting the bend of my wrist. To, you know, eventually, when you want a, a hard sound and strum, that's what you do. And, and I think it's easier to have that at the beginning. And, it, and now we're going to work on the loosening up this wrist. And we talked about some Cat Stevens stuff um, because he's got that, uh, um, he's got a lot of songs that he uses a strum like that. And he actually uses a kind of a light pick. Go ahead and experiment with different gauges of picks when you're doing this. See what works well for you. Um, when you use a heavy pick and, and strum this kind of stuff, you definitely have to kind of hold on to your pick loosely, but you have to hold on to it enough to, for it to not drop out of your fingers. If it does for a while, don't worry about it because you're finding that balance. How tightly do I have to hold on to it while I'm using my wrist loosely? You know, I don't want, I don't want to like tighten my grip on my pick really tight because then it gets rid of that whole soft sound. Part of this is letting that pick, you know, it flops around just slightly in my fingers here, just, you know, but I, have, I hold on to it. So when I play like this for a while, I find myself, you know, I'll play a few strums or, you know, a few measures of a strum, then I'll have to kind of, as I'm playing, I'm again working that pick back in a, a position because it kind of started falling out of my fingers. So that might happen. So just expect that. All right, so that was the Tom Petty one. You want to you can play an A chord for that last one. But, but I don't care if you do. You can just play the D. D add nine if you want. The main thing is we want to do this and we want to have some fun stuff with the left hand to practice with it. Another one we talked about was Grand Funk Railroad, I'm Your Captain. Now those finger, when we put our fingers, lifted them up and put them down and everything that we did with our left hand, it was all on the down strum, wasn't it? Down, down. Now 
this, uh, I'm your captain, is... Not stopping my right hand. Just have a first one is first one's down. Da, 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 da. Those three are on the up. First one down. Up, up, up. So the changes in fingering come on the up, except for the you know the, the first, first one, is, one is down. D, yeah, first one's just a D chord. Right? And then and the, then the, 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 the all, all the pickups. The first pickup. The next put down. And the, and the final D sus, they're all on the ups yet, so it's D, so it's D, uh, D sus, uh, or D, 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 and then D sus. It's kind of like the opposite, like as you said, of the uh, free falling. Right. All right? So I'm going to do it real slow. Get your wrist going. You're hearing mostly the top high three string. I'll definitely hit the four string on the first down. I'm going to flip that booger pretty hard on the down. I'm exaggerating. So if I, I'm going to speed it up now. And that's the D string, right? Yeah, that was the D four string. Look for a cowboy song that has this strum because I know there's a bunch of them. I want to work on that light strum though. All right, back to free falling. Never change my strum. Now, after you do this for a while, I can feel it in my left hand. I'm getting grooves in my fingers. Yep that are, are so getting so bad that my hands are squishing down and they're, they're going to hurt and they're going to get to my bone. Stop. Do something else. Okay. Don't play a D chord. All right? Go to do, do a G song or something. All right? Is that good? Good. Okay.